The history of human-powered aircraft HPA started in the early 20th century. HPAs are aircraft belonging to the class of vehicles known as human-powered vehicles. Early attempts at human-powered flight were unsuccessful because of the difficulty of achieving the high power-to-weight ratio. Prototypes often used ornithopter principles which were not only too heavy to meet this requirement but aerodynamically unsatisfactory. Human-powered aircraft have been successfully flown over considerable distances. However, they are still primarily constructed as engineering challenges rather than for any kind of recreational or utilitarian purpose. First attempts An early human-powered aircraft was the Gerhardt cycleplane, developed by W. Frederick Gerhardt at McCook Field in Dayton, Ohio in 1923. The aircraft had seven wings stacked nearly 15 feet meters high. The pilot pedaled a bicycle gear that turned the propeller. In early tests the aircraft was towed into the air by an automobile, and released. With Gerhardt as the pilot, the cycleplane was able to maintain stable, level flight for short durations. Its only human-powered takeoff was a short hop of 20 feet meters with the craft rising 2 feet in 1934, Engelbert Zaschke from Germany completed a large human-powered aircraft, the Zaschke Human Power Aircraft. On the 11th of July 1934, the Zaschke HPA flew about 20 meters on the Berlin Tempelhof Airport. The HPA took off without assisted takeoff, a craft called HV-1 Mufflei de Muskelkraft Flugzeug, built by Helmut Hassler and Franz Villinger, de first flew on the 30th of August 1935, a distance of 235 meters at Halle and der Saale, 120 flights were made, the longest being 712 meters in 1937. However, it was launched using a tensioned cable and so was not strictly human powered. In March 1937, a team of Ania Bossi, designer, Vittorio Bonomi, builder, and Emilio Casco, pilot, met a challenge by the Italian government for a flight of one kilometer using their pedaliante. The aircraft apparently flew short distances fully under human power, but the distances were not significant enough to win the competition's prize. Furthermore, there has been much dispute whether it ever took off under the pedal power of the pilot alone, in particular because there is no record of official observation of it having done so. Some arguments for and against the validity of Bossi's claim to have done so are presented by Sherwin 1976. At the time the fully human-powered flights were deemed to be a result of the pilot's significant strength and endurance, and ultimately not attainable by a typical human. As with the HV-1 Mufflei, additional attempts were therefore made using a catapult system. By being catapulted to a height of 9 meters 30 feet, the aircraft met the distance requirement of 1 km miles, but was declined the prize due to the launch method. <laughs> First flights The first officially authenticated takeoff and landing of a man-powered aircraft, one capable of powered takeoffs, unlike a glider, was made on the 9th of November 1961 by Derek Piggott in Southampton University's man-powered aircraft SUMPAC at Lasham Airfield. The best flight out of 40 attempts was 650 meters. The SUMPAC was substantially rebuilt by Imperial College with a new transmission system but was damaged beyond repair in November 1965. The Hatfield Puffin first flew on 16 November 1961, one week after SUMPAC. 
The Hatfield Man Powered Aircraft Club was formed of employees of de Havilland Aircraft Company and had access to company support. Eventually its best distance was 908 metres 993 yards. John Wimpenny said he was very pleased with the performance of the Puffin, which handled beautifully during the flight. His record stood for 10 years. Puffin II was a new fuselage and wing around the transmission recovered from the original Puffin. It flew on 27 August 1965 and made several flights over a half mile, including a climb to 5.2 meters. After Puffin II was damaged, it was handed over to Liverpool University who used it to build the Liverpuffin. After this date several less successful aircraft flew, until 1972 when the Woodford Essex Aircraft Group's Jupiter, designed and built by Chris Roper, piloted by John Potter flew 1,070 metres and 1,239 metres in June 1972. Due to Roper's ill health, the project was later continued at RAF Halton. Potter was a serving Royal Air Force RAF officer at the time. In early 1977, a Japanese aircraft stalk completed three quarters of the figure eight course before grounding a wingtip. Topic. Royal Aeronautical Society Human Powered Flight Group The Royal Aeronautical Society's Man Powered Aircraft Group was formed in 1959 by the members of the Man Powered Group of the College of Aeronautics at Cranfield when they were invited to join the society. Its title was changed from Man to Human in 1988 because of the many successful flights made by female pilots, under the auspices of the Society, in 1959 the industrialist Henry Kramer offered the first Kramer prizes of £5,000 for the first human-powered aircraft to fly a figure of eight course round two markers half a mile apart. It was conditional that the designer, entrant pilot, place of construction and flight must all be British. In 1973 Kramer increased the prize to £50,000 and opened it to all nationalities, to stimulate interest. <laughs> Kramer Prize successes by Gossamer Condor and Albatross In 1973, Kramer increased his prize money tenfold to £50,000. At that time, the human-powered aircraft had flown only in straight or nearly straight line courses, and no one had yet even attempted his more challenging figure eight course, which required a fully controllable aircraft. He also opened the competition to all nationalities, previously it was restricted to British entries only. On 23 August 1977, the Gossamer Condor II flew the first figure eight, a distance of 2.172 km winning the first Kramer Prize. It was built by Dr. Paul B. McCready and piloted by amateur cyclist and hang glider pilot Brian Allen. Although slow, cruising at only 11 miles per hour, 18 kilometers per hour, it achieved that speed with only 0.35 horsepower, 0.26 kilowatts. The second Kramer Prize of 100,000 pounds was won on June 12, 1979, again by Paul McCready, when Brian Allen flew McCready's Gossamer Albatross from England to France, a straight distance of 35.82 kilometers, 20 22 miles 453 yards in 2 hours 49 minutes topic <laughs> Kramer speed prize and later flights by MIT team 
A week after the cross-channel flight of Gossamer Albatross, which used a propeller designed by the MIT team, a student-led team at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology achieved first flight on their Chrysalis aircraft, which demonstrated full controllability and was flown by 44 different pilots, including female pilots who were the first to power a HPA. On the 11th of May 1984, the third Kramer Prize of £20,000 for speed went to the MIT design team for flying their Monarch B craft on a triangular 1.5 km course in under three minutes for an average speed of 32 km per hour, pilot Frank Scarabino. Further prizes of £5,000 are awarded to each subsequent entrant improving the speed by at least 5%. Over the next four years, the MIT group continued to evolve their designs, with the Monarch and Monarch B aircraft succeeded by three follow-on designs, the Light Eagle and two MIT Daedalus aircraft, the Daedalus 87 and Daedalus 88. The current distance record recognized by the FI was achieved on 23 April 1988 from Heraklion on Crete to Santorini in the MIT Daedalus 88 piloted by Canelos Canelopolis, a straight distance of 115.11 km Passenger aircraft. The first human-powered passenger flight occurred on 1 October 1984 when Holger Rockelt carried his sister Katrin in Musculaire 1. <laughs> Recent activities Machines have been built and flown in Japan, Germany, Greece, France, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, Austria, Canada, Singapore, the United States, and the United Kingdom, with their total number approaching a hundred. With further funds from the late Henry Kramer, the Royal Aeronautical Society announced four new prizes. £50,000 for the Kramer International Marathon Competition for a flight round a specified 26-mile marathon distance course, in a time of under one hour £100,000 for the Kramer International Sporting Aircraft Competition for a sporting aeroplane able to operate in normal weather conditions, as encountered in the United Kingdom £1,000 for the school's competition £500 for the Robert Graham competition for students for experimental research or engineering design. Attempts have been made to claim the £100,000 Kramer Sport Prize. Students from Virginia Polytechnic Institute designed an aircraft as part of their Air 4065 sixth class. A team from the Pennsylvania State University designed the PSU Zephyrus as part of their AERS P404H class. A team of aerospace engineering students from the University of Southampton designed and constructed the SUHPA. Samuel Dubois based out of Prescott, Y finalized designs for a flying wing HPA in September 2016 that he hopes to begin and finish building and testing by the spring of 2017. Dubois has not yet ruled out a possible Kramer Prize attempt. In 2012, the Royal Aeronautical Society brought the Icarus Cup for human-powered flying into being. The first cup was won by Airglow, designed by John and Mark McIntyre. The Icarus Cup is different from the Kramer Prize in that it doesn't aim to simply break speed and distance records, but making human-powered flying into a popular sport. Therefore, the competition includes challenges such as a slalom course, an unaided starting task and a landing accuracy test. The Icarus Cup is held annually at Lasham Airfield, Great Britain, the site of the first human-powered flight. Topic: 
Airships Inventors have built human-powered airships. By gaining lift through buoyancy instead of air flowing past an airfoil, much less effort is required to power the aircraft. <laughs> Helicopters, rotorcraft Topic: Ornithopters. On August 2, 2010, Todd Reichert of the University of Toronto Institute for Aerospace Studies piloted a human-powered ornithopter named Snowbird. The aircraft with 32-meter (105 feet) wingspan and mass of 42 kilograms (93 pounds) was constructed from carbon fiber, balsa, and foam. The pilot sat in a small cockpit suspended below the wings and pumped a bar with his feet to operate a system of wires that flapped the wings up and down. Towed by a car until airborne, it then sustained flight for almost 20 seconds. It flew 145 meters with an average speed of 25.6 kilometers per hour, 7.1 meters per second. Similar tow launched flights were made in the past, but improved data collection verified that the ornithopter was capable of self powered flight once aloft. Topic. See also. Human-powered transport Solar-powered aircraft Zero-emissions vehicle Human-powered helicopter Controllable slope soaring Ornithopter List of human-powered aircraft <laughs>